Hello, I'm Tony from Bonner's Music. We've got two very large keyboard and piano centres. Uh, one is in Eastbourne on the south coast of Sussex and the other one is in Rygate, Surrey, uh, just off junction uh, 8 of the M25 motorway. And both stores have got on-site parking and they're very easy to get to. So uh, well worth a visit if you're looking at uh, making a serious investment in, uh, in a keyboard. Um, I'm here today just to give you a quick overview of the Nord Piano 3. Uh, it's a new stage piano. It's been out three or four months now, but it, it really is a, an excellent machine. Um, I just want to give you an overview of, of basically how it works. Um, not, I'm not going to spend too long dwelling on any particular one part of it. I just want to give you a, a quick overview of, of the different features. Um, the first thing uh, to remember with Nord instruments is they're very, very hands-on. So there's lots and lots of controls, but it's very, very intuitive. Now, the Piano 3 um, enables you to have, um, it's got two sound sections. You've got the piano section and you've got what they call the sample synth section. And effectively, um, it's like two sound generators and you can either mix them together or you can split the keyboard and have one sound on your right and one sound on your left. Um, what we'll do is we'll just start with the, uh, the piano section. Um, so there's a nice, a nice uh, large LCD display screen here, uh, which works well even on a dark stage. I've played one of these on stage and this uh, this particular screen is very very clear and it's easy to uh, easy to see on a dark stage um, so the f what it's telling me on the screen at the moment is I've got a sound called Italian Grand now that's actually the name of the um, program um, which is uh, what Nord call there it, it's their word for a patch or a performance and, and some other brands call them those but this is what uh, Nord call a program and a program consists of a piano sound a sample synth sound and all of the effects that you choose to go with those sounds but what I'm going to do is break it down and we're just going to use the basic piano sound with no effects I'm going to turn off the reverb here there we go so what I've got here is it's telling me in the bottom half of the screen in the piano section it's got the Italian Grand XL which is the actual piano sample we're using so let's just have a listen to that that piano sound So really nice, vibrant, warm um, sound, which which it's got a lot of tonal colours in it. I, I must say, I really do like that particular piano sound. Um, now, there's lots and lots of different piano samples inside the Piano 3, and you get to those just by turning this uh, little knob here, which says Piano Select above it, and it tells you on the screen which piano sample um, you're using. So I can step through all these. You'll see on the screen it changes. So... I've got the Italian Grand as the first one. Let's go to Grand Lady D, which is a more mellow classical sound. And we can continue stepping through the different sounds. There's Studio Grand. There's an Electric Grand. So if we have a listen to that. So it's a good old 70s. Uh, it's actually a sample of a Yamaha CP80. Um, then there are some upright piano sounds. And then we move through to the uh, electric piano. So you've got your, your Rhodes type sound. So let's take a listen to the Rhodes. So that's just the basic, um, it's called Electric Piano 1 Mark 1, and it's just the basic sample you're listening to. There's no effects at all. So to show you how easy it is to, to, to use the Piano 3, um, I'm just gonna, I want to add a little bit of chorus to that sound. Okay, So I come across here, I find the chorus effect, which is actually in the effects 2 processor. So I'm going to switch that on, and you'll see it's assigned to, the, the little lights come on, so it's assigned to piano. And then chorus is already selected but I can use this little black button here to go through lots of different effects but I've got chorus there so if I play that same sound now and I can adjust 
adjust the amount of chorus using this knob here. So let's say I wanted a, a different uh, effect on there. Let's choose phasing maybe. Oh, a little bit too much. I'll just turn the, the amount of phasing down. So as you can see, very, very simple to, to, to add effects to your sound. So that's using the effects two um, effects generator. Let's go to the effects one. You've got things like tremolo on there. And if we move further to the right, there's also an amp simulator. So certainly for the road sounds, I like that because um, I've actually got a Fender Rhodes myself and I play it through a Roland Jazz Chorus um, amplifier. And uh, there's actually a Jazz Chorus uh, amp simulator on here. So if I choose the JC amp now, I'll bring up the distortion a little bit, or overdrive as they call it. So just get a little bit of uh, distortion, gives it a bit of bite. Let's turn that down a little bit. So there's so much flexibility using the effects um, with, the, with the basic samples. And then what you can do is you can store that setting. So if you like that and you're going to use it for a particular song, you can just give it a name and store it in the memory of the uh, Piano 3. So very, very simple process to do that as well. So I'm going to go back to the, um, the grand piano sound. I'm going back to my Italian grand. So let's just let's turn off the effects I've got switched on. Here we go. So I'm back to the Italian grand sound. Now what I'm going to do, I want to add a bit of reverb to that sound. It's really simple, just switch on the reverb and then turn this knob and that's the amount. So here we go, so here's no reverb. I'll just gradually increase the reverb. Far too much on there, but as you can hear, it's very effective, uh, a nice quality decay on that reverb. down again. Now if you're playing on stage with a band it's nice to um, be able to make your piano sound cut through a bit better. There's nothing worse than being in a band with a loud guitarist and drummer and bass player but you can't be heard. Very often that happens with keyboard players because the, the keyboard gives out so many different frequencies it, it ends up getting lost amongst everything else on stage. So what I tend to do is use the equaliser. Now on the Nord 3 there is a, an equaliser here um, so I can boost the treble a bit. So if you're playing something more rock and roll, if I turn that off, it just loses its edge. So I just put the equaliser on, turn the treble up. I'm going to take the reverb down a little bit again. So. So take some of the bass end off if you want, or increase it. In. So using the EQ, you can uh, ensure that your sound cuts through on stage. And the the Piano Three really is an excellent stage instrument. It works exceptionally well. So it, it's a good keyboard to have as a bass keyboard and then maybe have another synth on top as well to provide you with some extra sounds. But for um, pure piano, electric pianos, and what we're going to move on to now, which is clav sounds, um, the Piano 3 really is, I think, one of the best keyboards on the market. So what I've done here is I've gone back to the piano section I've turned the knob round, so I'm, I'm onto the clavs, uh, on the clav samples now. I'm going to turn off my equaliser, and we'll just listen to the raw clav sample. Oop, turn off the reverb as well. So. So that's the uh, clavinet D6 sample. Now I'm going to change that to a different sample so there are actually four variations on the d6 that's a here's b and 
let's try C. And D. So let's go back to, I'm going to go back to sample B, which was this one. And I want to add a little bit of uh, auto wire to that. So on effects one, I can see there's a wire effect. So I just switch it on, select wire with this button here and well, great sound that. Now also let's add a bit of uh, distortion to that as well. There we go. And let's add a little bit of uh, reverb on there as well. There we go. So excellent sounds, I think. Um, and all we've dealt with here so far is the, is the piano section. So let's go all the way back to my original uh, sound, which I had, which was the Italian Grand. There we go. So let's have another listen. So back to the Italian Grand. Now this time I'm going to switch on the sample section as well. So I just switch that on there. And straight away it's told me that on the screen here at the very bottom, full strings has come up. So there's already a sample ready to go. So you switch it on and... Hey Presto, there's uh, strings to mix with my piano sound straight away and you can alter the volume of those strings with this little knob here. So there, I'm just going to switch the piano sound off now and then You've got a couple of other controls here, which are for the sample synth. Um, and you can, for instance, alter the attack. So that's how, how long it takes for the, the sound to come in, if you like. So let's, let's, let's turn the attack up, have a much longer attack on there. So it's what, what I would call a slow string sound. And you've also got release, which is um, how the sound dies away when you take your fingers off the keyboard. So let's turn the release up a little bit. go volume up there and now bring my piano in so I've got a nice slow string behind my piano so the piano is taking precedence here so So that's just mixing the strings with the piano. So I'm going to turn the piano section off and this time let's just reset these controls to, uh, to normal. There we go. And just have a listen to some of the other samples that are inside the uh, Nord Piano 3. So you've got, um, for instance, you've got brass sections. So um, and we've got sax sections. And if we carry on, I noticed earlier when I was playing through some of these sounds that there are some additional piano sounds in the sample section. Let's just have another listen to some of the other some of the other samples that are in here. And again, you can mix these with any of the piano sounds, so I'm going to turn the piano on and put on an electric piano. Maybe put some uh, phasing on the electric piano. And we carry on through some of the sampled sounds. Eventually, 
and there's some bass sounds as well which actually are quite handy because you can split the keyboard so you do that with the um, the button here the split button so if I put the synth section on the left there's a little orange uh, sorry um, green light come on here which tells you where the split point is so I've got a slap bass on my left hand I've got an electric piano on my right so uh, let's have a look so very very easy to create a, a keyboard split um, let's turn the split point off and we'll carry on through the sounds now what I wanted to show you was that there are some additional piano sounds hidden in the uh, sample synth section and the reason for that is so that you can mix uh, two piano sounds together so I'm going to choose, um, let's have a look, uh, oh here I like this one, this is Korg M1 piano which is which is a sound you'll recognise from the, uh, the 1980s Korg M1 which was one of the, uh, the first sample based synth workstations had a very distinctive bright percussive piano sound but that piano sound, let's just um, give it a bit more release there we go, and a bit more reverb And what I'm going to do is mix that with uh, one of the electric piano sounds. So I'm going to mix that with, um, let's have a look at uh, a DX7. But let's add some chorus to that. So real classic sort of ballad piano sound which is which is a really nice uh, nice combination of sounds um, and there are some other sounds there's the Roland uh, RD1000 or MKS20 uh, piano sound carry on through some of these sample sounds. There are even some organ sounds here. So. so the Piano 3 is a very, very flexible instrument. Um, let's just go back to, to my first um, piano sound that I had, which was the Italian Grand. I'm just going to play something else on this, uh, on this sound, just to, to show you how good the, uh, the Piano 3 really can sound. Um, but what I would um, advise you to do is please do come to one of our stores, either in Eastbourne or Rygate, and check out the Piano 3, and you can compare it to other stage piano models as well, uh, such as the Roland RD2000 or the uh, Kawai MP11, which is another the flagship um, stage piano um, but the piano 3 is an excellent instrument it's really not very heavy to carry either um, but please do come down and have a have a play in our stores give us a call first make sure the one you want to see is on display in the right store um, but in the meantime just uh, just enjoy some uh, piano music on the piano 3 and uh, give us a call if you have any questions regarding stage pianos thanks very much for watching and I'll see you in the next uh, demonstration video